Countless people describe Gerald Valiles as a dedicated and caring public servant who took on the role of Attorney General and then Virginia's 65th governor. In his later years, he remained committed to the Commonwealth. I spoke to a close friend of his who also served as his lieutenant governor, Doug Wilder. We lost a, a big voice. A picture of a handful of Virginia governors hangs on L. Douglas Wilder's wall. In the middle, he smiles with his predecessor, Gerald Belisles. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a tradition that the outgoing governor present to the new governor the keys to the mansion. Who served as Virginia's 65th governor from 1986 to 1990. My good friend and colleague, L. Douglas Wilder. He would like to refer to the Commonwealth as the new dominion rather than the old dominion. Known for investing millions into infrastructure, Belisles was called the transportation governor. He also helped build relations abroad to boost Virginia's presence with foreign businesses. In his later years, Belisles was dedicated to conservation to protect the Chesapeake Bay. Wilder says his colleague used his voice to support those whose voices weren't always in government roles. M moving Virginia forward, but also inclusiveness as it relates to minorities, women, Belisles passed away this morning at 79 years old. What will be missed most, though, was Belisles' selfless work to make Virginia a better place for all who live here. To lead, but lead for the people, to govern for the people. And I think he added a new dimension in that regard. Funeral arrangements are still in the works, but close friends say the former governor's legacy will live on in Virginia. For now, reporting in Richmond, I'm Sarah McCluskey.